2022 is a year of great catch. Mwaka wa 2022 mwaka wa kuvaa kwa utele. And we are saying put out into the deep water and let down your net for a catch. Tunasema kwa barusha pale kiridini na uachilenya vuzako ukaweza kushika. I trust that the Lord has been together with you as he has been together with us. Naamini yako kwamba Mungu amekuwa pamoja nawe kama vile amekuwa pamoja nasi. And we thank God. Na tunashukuru Mungu. So far so good. Ubali huu ni bora. And we bless the name of our Lord. Uh, our reading is coming from 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verses 47. 1 Samuel 17 verses 47. We can read we can read because it's in our screen we can read together you can read it out loudly you can follow as we read and God is going to bless us. And all those gathered here, oh, very good, very good, very good, NIV, yes. And all those, and all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, but the battle is the Lord, and he will give all of you into our hands. Amen. Praise the name of our Lord. Amen. We can also read in in Second Chronicles, in Second Chronicles chapter uh, chapter twenty, Mambo. verses twelve. Mambo ya nyakati wa pili shirini mstalo wa kumina mbili. And then we will read verse 15. Our God will, uh, oh our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this first army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. And then verses 15. And he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Because of this first army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Amen. Amen. Uh, today I'll be talking about, I'll be talking about the battle is the Lord's. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, in a time that we are talking about battle, we we look at it in in a number of ways. And one of them is that uh, wherever there is battle, there is always a battlefield. There is the, the one who attacks and there is the one who is being attacked. So the moment we are talking about uh, battle, we, we are sure that uh, one of the things that we are sure of is that there is one who is attacking and there is the one who is being attacked. And when we are saying that the battle is the law, it means that there is a war that is happening and then in that war there are people who are helpless. There are, there are those people who are strong. There is the enemy who is strong who is attacking somebody who is weak. And where we have led in 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verses 47 we see a story which we are going to to to, uh, uh, to, to, to listen and uh, we, will, we, will, we will get to understand why they came until this point that uh, uh, the Bible is saying that the battle is the Lord. Battles can be of different kinds. And they can be brought by anybody, by anyone. You may not even think that some battles 
uh, will come from a certain quarter but they will come from that quarter unaweza kuwa hufikiria kwamba vita vyatoka upande mmoja lakini pia vyaweza toka pale maybe somebody is asking pengine mtu anauliza kwa ni pastor anapitia vita gani hapana mimi sina vita napitia kuna baraza ya sana but we are fighting lakini bado tunapigana lakini mimi sina vita na mtu yeyote lakini i'm not fighting anybody bwana asifiwe sana amen kwa sababu watu wanaweza fikiria but when i was when i was when i was asking god what to, to minister today wakati kwa nauliza mungu abazo nitanena siku ya leo let me tell you wacheni niwaambie this business of preaching is not easy hii biashara ya kupigana sio rahisi ya kuhubiri si rahisi this business of preaching is not easy hii biashara ya kuhubiri sio rahisi because you got to ask god what to say lazima uulize mungu abazo useme nini and sometimes you ask god in monday and there is no message unauliza mungu pale jumatatu na hakuna ujumbe bado and you can imagine somebody like me who has gone to school unaweza tafakari mtu kama hii ambaye amepitia shule and i have a file of messages na niko na 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 file files file of messages na niko na file kadhaa za ujumbe even when you get into my office you get books full of messages na ukiingia pale ofisini utapata vitabu vya ujumbe sio rahisi even when you have all those messages to come and preach such kind of a mess or to preach on a sunday haikuangira hisa hata kama uko na jube za aina ile kuja kupiga macho sometimes sleepless nights inakuja wakati mwingine utalala bila usingizi and we thank god and so when i was asking god what am i going to share today wakati nilikuwa nauliza mungu nitashiriki nini leo i tell you it was not easy until God told me this is what you are going to minister. Hai kukua rahisi mpaka Mungu akanieleza ndio kama sure kwa this is God's message this morning. Na niko na uhakika kwamba huyu chuo kutoka kwa Mungu si mashaka. Even, even if it is only one person who is going to go home changed. Hata kama ni mtu mmoja tu ataenda nyumbani huyu ameleta. I believe that is the only person that God wanted to minister to. Na nitaamini kwamba huyu mtu mmoja mpaka I believe this are encouraging words to all of us. Lakini nataka kuamini maneno ya kutia gufu kwa kila mmoja wetu. In the battle katika vita sometimes we may be going through battle pekino unaweza kuwa unapitia vita which are so hard abazo ni gumu sana and so difficult na bao ni kana uzito and you know what the enemy comes to do na unajua vile adu kuja kufanya john said johana kasema in john chapter 10 and verses 10 johana 10 mstari wa aviv kamet ya kwamba mwizi huja only to steal kill and destroy kuimba kuharibu na kuua that is the work of the enemy hiyo ndio kazi ya adui the work of the enemy is to come to steal to kill and to destroy kazi ya adui ni kukuja kuimba kuharibu na kuua and i want to tell you lakini nataka kuambia that this battle the battles that we make be going through ya kwamba vita ambavyo tunavyopitia because in this life we will go through things kwa sababu katika maisha tutapitia mambo we we'll go through mountains we we'll go through valleys we we'll go through crooked ways utapitia bode utapitia milima utapitia jia ambazo zimepindika sometimes you are seeing a mountain before you wakati mwingine unaona mlima mbele zako and you are wondering how am i going to make it in this mountain na unashangaa jinsi gani utaenda kukwea huu mlima and i tell you it is not easy to climb na nakwambia sio rahisi kukwea ule mlima haleluya if if the battle has come kama vita vimekuja and that battle appears to you like a mountain na vile vita naonekana kwako ni kama mlima sometimes you are worried how you are going to climb the mountain to the other side wakati mwingine uko na uonga kwamba utapanda aje ule mlima because the mind that we normally have at that time kwa sababu vita ambayo tunakuwa navyo wakati kama ule is that we believe at the, on the other side of the mountain that is where our rest is kwa sababu tunaamini kupita ule pada mwingine wa mlima ambao tuko na starehe when we are in the valley we are trying to get out of a certain valley in our lives wakati tuko katika bonde tunajaribu kutoka katika bonde katika maisha yetu and we are trying to get out of that valley na tunajaribu kutoka kutoka kwa ile bonde and you are looking up na unatazama juu down there na uko pale chini you know what to do hujui ufanye lipi haleluya you are trying to think what you are going to do unajaribu kufikiria vile utakavyofanya because sometimes in this life kwa sababu wakati mwingi katika you maisha you find yourself at the bottom utajipata pale chini you kabisa you find yourself that you do not know how to go about it utajipata na hujui utatoka pale na mwingine you are looking up Unatazama juu. While you are in the valley. Wakati uko katika bonde. You are asking can anyone come? Unajiuliza kuna yote je anaweza kuja? Through a rope so that he can pull me out of this valley. Akala warushe kaba ndio nikaweza kutoka kutoka kwa hili bonde. I don't know whether you have ever been in a 
in a situation where you do not know what to do. Sijui kama umekuwa katika hali ambayo hujui ufanye lipi. I want to tell you this morning. Nataka kukuambia asubuhi ya leo. The battle is the Lord. Kwa ba vita ni vya Bwana. The battle is the Lord. Vita ni vya Bwana. The battle is the Lord. Vita ni vya Bwana. You know sometimes you may have pressure. Pressure. And sometimes pressure they are so they are so daring. And I tell you when pressure begins to come they come from every side. From the side one, one side pressure is coming. The other side another pressure is coming. And they come simultaneously. They come simultaneously. Sometimes you wonder how you are going to go about it. Wakati mwingine unashangaa utaenda kufanya nini? But thank God. Lakini shukuru Mungu. In that situation. Katika hiyo hali. The battle is not yours. Vita si vya ko. The battle is the Lord. Vita ni vya Bwana. The battle is the Lord. Vita ni vya Bwana. Maybe like now. Wakati mwingine kama sasa. Because we are in, in such a season like this. Wakati sasa tuko katika majira haina haya. Yesterday I met a person. Jana nilikutana na mtu fulani. And he's my friend. Na ni rafiki yangu. And he told me. Akanieleza. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Sio jana bad siku baada ya jana. That is on Friday. Ilikuwa Ijumaa. And when he saw me. Na wakati aliniona. He was so excited. Alifurahia sana. He needed an encouragement. Alihitaji kutiwa nguvu. And so he came. Na kwa hivyo akaja. So I did a deliberate move. I don't know whether it was because of this man. Nilianza kutembea tu sijui kwa sababu ya huyu mtu. I did a deliberate move. Nilifanya hiyo deliberate kutembea. To walk. Kutembea. So I had left my car a distance like one kilometer or so. Nilikuwa nimeacha gari langu mahali bali kama kilomita moja. So that I would get time to walk. Ndio nikaweza kupata muda wa kutembea. So I left it. Na nikaiacha. I began walking I went to the office. Nikaanza kutembea nikaenda pale ofisini. And then after that. Na baada hayo I decided now I am going to walk. Nikaamua kwamba nitaanza kutembea. This person saw me. Wakati ule mtu aliniona. Said pastor. Akasema mchungaji. Mchungaji. Yes, here I am. Niko hapa. Come be I'm walking. Natebea. He said good. Na akasema ni vyema. So he came. Kwa hivyo akaja. And he told me. Na akaniambia that uh, he is a driver. Yeye kuwa ni yeye ni dereva. He went somewhere. Alienda mahali. Parked the car. Akaweka gari lake. After parking the car. Na baada ya kuweka ile gari lake. He he just he was waiting. Alikuwa anangojea. He had gone to pick some things. Kwa sababu alikuwa ameenda kuchukua bidhaa kadhaa. So when he was waiting. Wakati alikuwa anangojea. Eh, a time came when he is now to go in. Wakati ukafika kwamba aingie. So when he was going in. Wakati alikuwa anaingia. Unajua gari ya manyu? Si unajua gari ya manyu? Mm. Sometimes lazima ukanyange crutch na na, na mafuta. Si ndio ubalance. Mm. So akaweka gari on. Alafu alipoweka gari on this is what happened. Gari ikarudi. Unajua gari ya, ya nini haiendagi mbele inaendaga nyuma. Pale nyuma kulikuwa na mtoto. Akaganyanga mtoto. Wa miaka 3. Now he was wondering and he was telling me pastor what would I do? Alikuwa anashangana shida anauliza mchungaji nitafanya nini? And you can imagine he did not see haku ameona mtoto na haku haku ame alikuwa ananiambia pastor mimi hata sikuwa naona mtu na hata haku na mtu alishidwa mtoto alitoka wapi so sometimes you will find yourself in situations wakati mwingine utajipata katika hali you find yourself in situations and battles na vita and that time he was telling me na wakati ule alikuwa ananieleza i didn't have money hakukuwa na pesa i had the pressure alikuwa na msukumo that i am supposed to pay my house rent ya kwamba alikuwa alipe kodi ya nyumba i have the pressure to pay my, to pay for school fees alikuwa na msukumo wa kulipa karo only to hear somebody shouting umekanyaga mtoto sasa unashidwa mtoto ametoka wapi hapa kwa mungu what am i trying to say je najaribu kusema nini battles vita ba 
Vita. But the battle is not yours. Lakini vita si vyako. It is the Lord. So vita ni vya Bwana. I encouraged him. Kwa hivyo nilimtia nguvu. And I told him. Na nikamwambia. Brother, you are not the first one. Dugu si kwanza. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, you are not the first one. Dugu wewe si wa kwanza. Encourage yourself. Jitie nguvu. The Lord will fight for you. Mungu atakupigania. It was not intentional. Haikuwa hivyo. You did not intend to do it. The Lord will fight for you. Mungu atakupigania. Even this morning. Hata asubuhi ya leo. You might be wondering what you are going to do. Unaweza kuwa unachangaa utaenda kufanya nini. Mhm. And you are, you are saying what am I going to do in this situation? Unajiuliza utaenda kufanya nini katika hii hali? The battle is the Lord. Vita ni vya Bwana. Now here where we have led. Mahali ambapo tumesoma. David. Daudi. Or the children of Israel. Ama wana wa Israeli. Were fighting with the Philistines. Walikuwa napigana na Wafilisti. Now there was this guy that was called Goliath. Na kulikuwa na huyu mtu ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Goliath. And Goliath was the the warrior he was the man who was the the giant who was fighting uh, on the side of the philistine na huyu mtu alikuwa anaitwa goliath alikuwa chuja ama chuja ba alikuwa anapigania upande wa philistine and i tell you na nakuambia the children of israel ya kwa bwana wa israeli had faced a big a big trouble a big problem walikuwa wanapitia shida kuu sana they were terrified walikuwa na uoga mwingi why kwa nini because they were seeing now they are going to be finished walikuwa by the finished walikuwa na uoga sasa wataenda kumalizwa na wafilisti because you can imagine this guy was shouting and uh, when he shout everybody was was fearful okay. he was instilling fear in the army of the Israelites. Huyu mtu alikuwa akitoa sauti ya jeshi la Waisraeli lilikuwa linatoroka kwa uoga. And when he was standing like this he was very tall. Na wakati alikuwa anasimama alikuwa mrefu sana. And they were wondering how they are going to go about this situation. Walikuwa wanashangaa watatpitia aje hii hali. Hallelujah. Amen. So you might be faced by such kind of a situation unaweza kuwa unakubatiana na haina when you look forward ukiangalia mbele you are sure you cannot be able to defeat this one uko na uhakika kwamba hutaweza shida hilo the children of israel knew they cannot be able and they are new they will not be able to defeat goliath walikuwa wanajua wana wa israeli ya kwamba hawangeweza kushida goliath it was such a big problem ilikuwa shida kuu sana but they had to fight anyway lakini lazima wangepigana they had to fight with this man lazima wangepigana na huyu they had to defend themselves lazima wangejikinga wao wenyewe and they were trying to defend themselves na wakati walikuwa wanajitetea wenyewe but they knew that it is not possible to defeat this one walikuwa walijua kwamba sawange maybe you are listening to me Whether in this house or outside this house I want to tell you you might also be faced by such a situation you are sure that this one is hard this one is difficult with you you cannot be able to defeat this one tell you this na kuambia hivi when they were in such a situation wakati walikuwa katika hiyo hali there was this man called david kuna huyu mtu alikuwa anaitwa daudi he came akakuja haleluya amen just a boy alikuwa tu kijana you, you can imagine a boy unaweza tafakari kijana a, a young man kijana mchanga but this man was the one to be used by God. Lakini huyu mtu ndiye alikuwa atumiwe na Mungu. Listen to me. Nisikize. Listen to me. Nisikize. Never despise anybody. Usiwahi dunisha yeyote. Who come your way. Usiwahi dunisha yeyote ambaye anakuja katika jia zako. Listen, never despise anybody who comes along your way. Usiwahi dunisha yeyote ambaye anakuja katika maisha yako. Whether he is rich or he is poor. Akuwe maskini akuwe tajiri. Whether he is strong or he is weak. Akuwe na nguvu ama akuwe mudhaifu. Whether he is that person you cannot you you cannot you will not even like. Wata akuwe ule mtu ambaye hakupendezi. But never in life. 
Lakini if this life never despise anybody. Katika haya maisha usiwahi dunisha yeyote. Because David came. Kwa sababu David akaja. And where we have led. Na mahali ambapo tumesoma. We see. Tunaona. And the Bible says that all those gathered here will know It is not by sword. All spear. Ama upanga. That the Lord saves. Mungu I tell you. Nakwambia our God will not save us by sword or gun. Hata tuokoa kwa upanga ala mkuki. Even now right like now we the, the 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 brothers and the sisters in in those places in those countries that they are is fighting it is not about the missiles god will not save by missiles hallelujah amen because the moment we begin the moment we look and we trust in the lord wakati tutatazama na tuamini mungu he will give us our enemies into our hearts. Because the battle is not ours. Let me tell you. Brothers and sisters. As long as we are serious. As long as we are serious. And we are serious with our God. We are serious with our Christianity. The battle is the Lord. Hallelujah. He will save you. He will save me. giant was big it doesn't matter what the, the, the big the way the situation is big when the battle is the lord he will fight for us and you can remember what happened can you remember what took place the lord gave the children of israel victory through david in Jesus name. And today I am pronouncing that the big fearful situation in your life will be defeated. That big that fearful situation that difficult situation it will be defeated in Jesus name therefore just relax and trust in God and you will see the power of God at work you will see the power of God at work I will see the power of God at work in Jesus name I remember we have led in second chronicles katika mambo ya nyakati second chronicles mambo ya nyakati when you read first uh, second chronicles chapter 20 beginning from verses 1 i want just to read that one ukisoma aya ya 20 mstari wa kwanza so that we will get to see that the battle is not ours ndio tukaweza kutazama ya kwamba vita si vya vyetu after this the moabites and the ammonites with some of their menute came to make war on Jehoshaphat. Go to first. Go to the next first. Up to first three. So men came and told, listen, listen to me. Listen some men came and told Jehoshaphat, our first army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the sea. It is already in Hazor, Hazazon Tama. That is the uh, that is Edgedi and Gedi. Now, <laughs> verse three. Disappointed or armed, Jehoshaphat resolved or fearful Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord, and he proclaimed for uh, a fast for all Judah. God fast for. Uh -huh. The people of Judah came together to seek help. This is, this is beautiful. The people of Judah came to seek, came together to seek help from the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek God. Amen. Let me tell you the secret. One of the secrets of 
having the battle being won for us. Mojapo ya siri ambayo kufanya vita vishindwe kwa niamba yetu. Is one. Ya kwanza. Because we are helpless. Kwa sababu hatuna msaada. Hallelujah. You know when you are attacked. Wakati umechaburiwa. You know you are helpless. Unajua huu na uwezo. You need somebody to come and help you. Unahitaji mtu kuja kusaidia. That time you are helpless. Wakati huo hauna msaada. That time you have no you do not have the energy. Wakati huo hauna uwezo. That time you have no strength. Wakati huo hauna nguvu ama uwezo. Hallelujah. I know some people have no strength. Unajua watu wengi wamepoteza nguvu. I know some people have been worn out. Unajua watu wengine wamechoka. But that time that you do not have any help. Wakati huo ambao hauna msaada wa That time you are very weak. Wakati huo uko na udhaifu mwingi. That time when things have been the news have come. Wakati huo ambao jube zimekuja. Bwana asifiwe sana. You know there are some news that comes to us. Unajua kuna habari kuja kwetu. Hallelujah. Amen. How many news have you ever had? Je, ni jube gani ambazo umesikia? We thank God for our media houses. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa vyombo vyetu vya media zetu. They have news. Wanakuanga na habari. Hallelujah. Amen. How many news have you had? Habari gapi ambazo umezisikia? The last one week how, what have you had? Je, juma ambalo nimepita umesikia gani? Are they good news or bad news? Je, ni habari njema ama ni habari mbaya? Are they good news or bad news? Are they are they habari njema ama habari mbaya? Jehoshaphat had bad news. Jehoshaphat akasikia jube baya. Hallelujah. Amen. That the enemies are coming. Ya kwamba maadui wanakuja. Remember one time. Nakumbuka wakati mmoja. Sometimes you may hear news. Wakati mwingine unaweza sikiza habari. And sometimes you not heard or you not hear news from from anybody. Na wakati mwingine utasikia habari kutoka kwa mtu yeyote. But you hear news from the devil himself. Na unaweza sikia hizo habari kutoka kwa shetani mwenyewe. You hear the devil telling you. Unasikiza shetani akikuambia. You hear that pain there? hiyo ni kansa. Sikia wewe uchungu pale hiyo ni sarata. Sikia kama wewe ushawa hikisikia hivyo. I don't know whether you have had such a new. Yaani unasikia shetani anakuambia hiyo, hiyo labda hiyo, hiyo 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 ni hiyo. Possibly that one can be cancer. It, it, it is the devil. Sometimes you are told you are like this. You go get the news. You go get news. Wakati mwingine unasikia na unaambiwa uende uende even, even from the hospital you are told hata pale hospitalini unaambiwa uko namna hii even sometimes before you get to the hospital wakati mwingine kabla hujafika hospitalini and even after you have been uh, taken through tests wakati mwingine unapitia zile tests you are you at home even before you have received hata kabla hujapata zile the devil begins to tell you shetani anaanza kukuzungumzia ai labda hiyo ni cancer maybe it can be inaweza kuwa sarata siku moja one time this is discreet mm -hmm. hiyo one time siku moja mke wangu alikuwa naumwa huyu wako hapa huyu wako hapa mm. sio alikuwa naumwa hapa sijui ni hapa nyuma hapa hapa unaona hapa nyuma ilikuwa inauma inauma yeye mpaka kama mahali mpaka tukaenda hospitali kikuyu tukatoka kikuyu tukawaambia hapana and then sijui wapi sijui Nairobi huko Haringham na huko kafanya test unajua at the back of the mind labda alikuwa anafikiria akona kanza kwa sababu nikimwangalia hivi nilikuwa naona hivyo hata mimi nilikuwa na nasikia ai kwani 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 ameshikwa kwani akona hiyo ilikuwa ga hivyo sometimes you hear news wakati mwingine unasikia ni but after ambari. test lakini baada ya hizo test kabiu hapana hauna kitu hauna hmm, hauna there is nothing bwana asubuhi sana hauna kitu amen you only need to lift things that are not heavy. Unafaa tu uinue vitu ambavyo hazina uzito mwingi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Wale madaktari wakisikia hivyo wanajua ni kwa nini. Mm -hmm. Alright? So what am I saying? Je, nasema nini? That sometimes you hear news. Wakati mwingine unapata jube. That bring terror. Ambao zinaleta Even in your whole family. Katika familia yako yote. Hallelujah. Amen. Jehoshaphat had Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat had. Na the armies of the Moabites and the 
and the Ammonites. They are cross, they are coming. And they are coming to attack them. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what Jehoshaphat said? Helpless as he was. Amen. He declared that everybody should fast. Let me give you a secret. Sometimes there are things that will come your way that requires because you are helpless that requires you to call brothers and tell them brothers and sisters it is time now I am attacked let's come together and pray and fast uh, are there brothers and sisters who are like that in this church who can be called you can be called by a brother or a sister at least two or three and they gather and tell God, God they tell God God this situation they declare a fast Jehoshaphat declared a fasting and everybody fasted hallelujah Amen. listen to me for God sometimes to appear and to do something in your life. I know you are helpless. You need to call people to come and fast with you. And you say, yes! It is going to be over. At that time, you will discover Utagudua. the battle will not be yours any longer. The battle will be the Lord's. The battle will be the Lord's. Hallelujah. Amen. Jehoshaphat was terrified. Jehoshaphat was terrified. And he had nothing to do except to call a fast. And in verses 12, verses 12, he says this. This is a prayer that he made. This is a prayer. Oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this fast army that is attacking us. Amen. Do you have such kind of a strength? <laughs> are, are, you, are, you, are you willing to call God in such a way? Church, you might be faced by such a great army. Attack us. Hallelujah. Amen. But one of the things that we need to do is to remind God that he has the power. If you read, you will discover that he is, he is even reminding, he is reminding himself and even he is reminding God that he is the God who did wonders. And when you read verses 15, verses 15, this is where Jehoshaphat said. He said, he said, this is the Lord speaking. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who lives in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid nor discouraged because this vast army for the battle is not yours, but God's. Did you hear that? Do not be afraid. Because there is possibility of getting afraid. There is a possibility of getting discouraged. Because of the way things are. But I'm encouraging you this morning. And I'm speaking, I know I'm speaking to somebody this morning. That you should not be this. Be, you should not be afraid. You should not be discouraged because of this first army. Because of the attack that are coming your way. Verses 16. 
Bwana asifiwe. Amen. You know these days. Unajua siku hizi. And we must agree. Na lazima tukubaliane. And we must we must know this. Na lazima tujue haya. There are things things are not as easy as one would think. Ya kwamba mambo si rahisi jinsi ambavyo mmoja anaweza fikiria. Not in Kenya alone. Sio katika hili taifa la Kenya peke yake. Lakini ulimwengu mzima. But let me tell you something. Kini wache nini waambie jambo? Can we begin to think otherwise? Tuanze kufikiria jinsi jia ingine. And the otherwise is. Na hiyo jia ingine ni. We begin to come together. Tuanze kukuja pamoja. And pray together. Na tuombe pamoja. And declare. Na tutangaze. Our economies are not determined by the economy of Kenya. Ya kwa ba uchumi zetu azita lete wana uchumi za taiva hini. We know that the first army is coming. Tunajua ya kwa ba jeshi kula aja. And when we look at the things the way things are. Na tukitaza majinzi mao kwa yalijo. Yes there is a threat. Ya kwa ba kuna. Our lives have been threatened. Maisha yetu ya mechua woga. Our businesses have been threatened. Biasha la zetu mechua woga. Ay, 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 ay. Our businesses, even our jobs are being threatened. Na kazi zetu pia zi mechua woga. Because those people who are working in certain businesses. Kwa sababu wala watu wanafanya kazi katika hizo biashara. Siku ingina mmeona hata watu wa mafuta hapa, hapa Mombasa, wala wakutengeneza mafuta ya kukura, grossed shops. Sidiyo? So what am I saying? You, you may say that you are safe. Because you are employed. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to begin to think now. That there is a name of the enemy that is coming. And it is, it is bringing a threat. It is bringing, a, it is bringing a things that are terrifying to our lives. And we begin to call upon God. So I am saying this. In the month of prayer, that is the month of Jude, we need to come together and we pray and we speak to our business. To our jobs. Why? Because when we do that, then the Lord will intervene. And surely the battle will not be ours. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me speak about four ways and then I cross there. The way that we would let God intervene. The way that we would let God Uh, fight the battle for us. Ways to let God fight our battles. Number one. We must realize that the battles are not ours. We must realize that. Wherever we are. In any situation that we are in katika hali yote ambayo tuko ndani yake we must realize ya paswa tujue ya kuwa ba hapo pote the battle is not or are not ours ya kuwa ba vita hivi vyote sio vyetu number 2 ya pili we must recognize lazima tutabue that we have human limitations ya kuwa ba kama mwanadamu tuko na vipimo and we are our god's strength to work through our fear and weaknesses. Ya kwamba tuluhusu Mungu akatenda kazi katika uoga na udhaifu wetu. Let me repeat that. Wacha nirudie haya. We hai. recognize human limitations that we have. Tutabue jinsi ambavyo uwezo wetu uko na vipimo. God's strength work through our fears and weaknesses. Tuluhusu nguvu za Mungu kutenda kazi ndani ya uoga wetu na udhaifu wetu. Number three. Ya tatu. Make sure Hakikisha. We are pursuing God's interest. Ya kwamba tunafuatilia mapenzi ya Bwana. And not just our own interest. Lakini sio mapenzi yetu pekee. And last but mwisho. not least. Lakini sio ya dogo. We ask God. Tuulize Mungu to help in our daily battles. Atusaidie katika vita vyetu vya kila siku. Those are four ways that we need to We, we let God fight our battles. Amen. When you go home, you read the same, but I will give, uh, let me give you these scriptures so that you can go home and read. So that, so that you will know that the battle is not yours. Just like these scriptures because I want to close at that. First Samuel 
1 Samuel chapter 14 verse 6 1 Samuel chapter 14 and verse 6 then Judges chapter 7 and verses 4 Judges chapter 7 verses 4 Second Chronicles 14 verses 11 First Chronicles chapter 14 verse 11 Second Chronicles chapter 13 verses 19 No verses 14 not 19 Psalms Psalms 44 verse 6 Hosea chapter 1 verses 7 Isaiah 30 verses 18 when you go home read those scriptures and then you can also prepare a message you preach some other time praise the name of the Lord the battle is not ours. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever mountain that is before you, whatever war, whatever, whatever kind of an army that is before you that is coming to attack, the battle is not ours. The battle is the Lord. Amen. The battle is not yours. You, you should not worry so much. Just recognize that you are a man. Hallelujah. Amen. And you have weaknesses. And you have your own strength. But in your own wako. strength and in your own weaknesses, you will wako. not make it. We will allow God to be God uh, mungu kuwa mungu. in our situation. Hali zetu. So in that case, kwa hivyo kwa hii na iyo, we need to be more serious. We need to be serious with the things of God. We need to be Christians who are serious. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need to rough each other. And we have breakthrough with one another. So that we can call one another. And one another. Brother, I am fixed. Ndugu niko katika hali gumu. Sister I am fixed. Dada niko katika hali gumu. Na ukisikia ndugu akikuita ama amekuita ya kwamba ako chini. If you hear sister or brother calling you that please, they are down. Please don't go out there and tell others. Usiende pale nje waanze kutangazia wengine. Come together pray with that brother and things will be okay. Kuja pamoja hapa na huyo dugu na mambo yatakuwa sawa. The battle is the Lord. Vita ni vya Bwana. The battle is not ours. Vita sio vyetu. But the battle is the Lord. Lakini vita ni vya Bwana. It doesn't matter the mountain. Haijalishi mlima. It doesn't matter the the big the big the situation is. Haijalishi ukuu wa hiyo hali yako. Jehovah is able. Mungu anaweza. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to pray. Nataka tuombe. What are you going through? Je, unapitia gani? The Lord is able. Mungu anaweza. What is it that which you see that it is impossible? Ni je, ni jambo gani hilo unaona kwamba haliwezekani? He is able. Yeah, yeah, na weza. That is why we sing this song that says. The man that neighbor who bow na sema. Na weza. Na weza bwana. Na weza yote. Na weza yote. Because when we release all to Him. Wakatu na chile yote kuake. He is able. Yeah, yeah, na weza. He is well able. Yeah, yeah, na weza. To meet us at the point of our needs. Kukuta na nasi katika mahali pa uita juwe. That need that you have. Ila kila hita jaba lo konalo. He is able. Yeah, yeah, weza. I want us to raise up our hands to the Lord right now. In the name of Jesus. And those who are seated there, I want you to rise up and lift up your hands towards the people that are before. We begin to trust God because of their life right now. And as they raise them, know that you are raising them before the Lord. Pastor cannot be able to do it. But I want to assure you that our God is able. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit the brothers and the sisters who are here and who are standing in front of you in this altar. I commit them to you. Whatever they are going through, I declare today 
just as it is and it was and it will continue to be that the battle is not ours but the battle is the Lord whatever kind of attack that has come into their lives into their families in the name of Jesus I declare that that attack is defeated those battles are defeated in the name of Jesus Christ those who are sick and they are here I declare by the stripes of Jesus they are healed in the name of Jesus those who are here they are going through difficult through financial difficulties in the name of Jesus I declare today in the name of Jesus that Lord you are removing those 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 big those mountains before them those who are feeling that they are in the valley and they are not able to come out of that valley father in the name of Jesus I declare and I decree that those valleys are being filled up right now in the name of Jesus Christ and my brothers and my sisters are receiving their victory in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I thank you and I give you all the praise because you are doing it and you have done it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.